distributism is basically a belief in a property-owning democracy. Chesterton believed, and the group of people who belonged to Chesterton's circle, they believed that the best guarantee for human liberty was, and uh, for the freedom of citizens, was private property. Uh, he believed that uh, for a healthy democracy, you had to have an independent people. To be independent, uh, people uh, had to be in charge either of their own farm, of their own business, of their own profession. And he thought that uh, a community, a society, a nation in which the, great, the greater uh, number of people were, were property owners uh, was a healthier society. Uh, so the name distributism is unfortunate because it suggests, um, well, uh, state interference. In a way, Chesterton was very suspicious of the modern state, and he disliked gigantism, either big government uh, or big corporations. Uh, he was um, very much like E.F. Schumacher. He believed that small is beautiful. So believed, he believed in the local community. Uh, he distrusted empires. Uh, when he began writing as a young journalist uh, in uh, 1900, uh, like, like young Dickens, he became famous almost overnight uh, as a writer. When he began writing, England uh, was the power center uh, of, 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 the, of the Western world, in fact, of the world, uh, the center of an empire. Chesterton disliked, uh, disliked uh, the British imperialism. He was a little Englander. He believed that nations should mind their own business. Uh, he liked uh, small nations. Uh, he thought power, he was a liberal. Uh, in the best sense of the word, and like all liberals, he believed that power tended to corrupt. I think, I think the recent uh, economic crisis, what is what, from 2009, the banking crisis, is a good illustration of uh, Chesterton's fears. Um, he thought uh, the modern economic system was essentially unreal that it was out of touch with, uh, with, with realities such as the land, uh, working with your hands. Uh, and uh, he thought it was essentially a very fragile, a very fragile system. And uh, I, 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 I think many people have come to share his, his fears uh, uh, about modernity. In, in, that, in, that, in that present form. He thought modern industrialism um, was abnormal. So you could put it this way, distributism was not an ism. Uh, Chesterton was simply appealing to the experience of every civilization uh, that he thought this was the way the human race lived for millennia, um, where people working with their hands were in touch with the soil, in small communities, uh, and above all, of course, the community called the family. Chesterton believed if the family is destroyed, everything is destroyed, that you cannot build, uh, you cannot build uh, a, a healthy nation unless you have a strong family. Uh, so a free people, um, he was not a liberal individualist, he believed in communities. Uh, he even said, God is a community the Holy Trinity, you see. So uh, he was, uh, he used to say that in a village, which was his metaphor for a good community, uh, the one person who was usually crazy in a village was the person who wrote a book. Uh, so he said, the lonely intellectual uh, was dangerous. Uh, you know, he, the people in, the, in London uh, in the British Museum reading room, people like Karl Marx and Bernard Shaw were writing books. 
And uh, Chesterton said, you know that reading room? It's warm in the winter, it's quiet. He said, it serves many of the functions of a private madhouse, you see. Uh, and uh, he thought, he thought you, you, uh, that ordinary people could be trusted, that, that the common man was the wise man. Uh, and uh, the, the, importance, the importance was restoring power to, uh, to the local community. Chesterton put it this way, um, I th in his, he had a magazine, as you know, a weekly called GK's Weekly, because he was not given the freedom to express his own views in the national papers always. Um, but in, uh, in his own magazine, uh, he made a very interesting comment. Of course, he distrusted, disliked Bolshevism, uh, as well as, as capitalism for that matter. He believed not in a third way, but a new way, the distributist way. But he said that people should not worry about Moscow and Bolshevism. It was doing a lot of harm. But he said the madness, the insanity of tomorrow is far more in Manhattan than in Moscow. He said the next great heresy uh, is going to be an attack on morality and especially sexual morality. And the center for that attack was in the Western world. He said that when real evil comes, it always comes from within the system not from outside the system. He said he was given, he was invited to the University of London in 1927 to give a lecture. Uh, and he said, the danger for tomorrow, the coming danger, the coming peril is, this was the phrase he used, standardization by a low standard, a flattening of differences, a loss of variety, uh, the the loss of character, uh, which developed in free families uh, and was destroyed in uh, these big systems where people were like cogs in a machine, replaceable. Uh, so he was, um, he, he, he believed in freedom, uh, that you could trust, that you could trust ordinary, ordinary, ordinary people uh, to mind their own business. You could almost say uh, that he was a philosophical anarchist. Uh, that is, he believed, like Kropotkin and, and, and some of the uh, anarchist writers, uh, like Dorothy Day and the Catholic worker who called herself a Catholic anarchist, uh, he believed uh, that uh, mutual, mutual aid, people could help each other, uh, that little communities, uh, families, and associations, the sort of thing Pope Leo XIII described in 1891 in Rerum Novarum and Pius XI in Quattrocentesimo Anno. That really is, these are distributist ideas expressed by the church. I could, you could put it this way, Bernard Shaw, Chesterton's friendly enemy, who was a socialist, said what Chesterton described was not the past, but the future. Um, the medievalism for Chesterton provided certain principles, but he did not believe in a return to medieval conditions. For example, I think it was 1927 again, uh, he published uh, an important novel called The Return of Don Quixote. Uh, and he dedicated this book uh, to uh, a distributist who was, I think, a little literal-minded, W.R. Titterton, the deputy editor of Chesterton's own magazine, and he called this novel a parable for social reformers. Chesterton said, the truth can be told ultimately only through parables, through stories. Well, in this story, the hero is an idealist who attempts to, uh, in fact, he, he, he recreates a, a, a medieval society, and it is a disaster. Uh, in fact, uh, it turns out that it is manipulated by businessmen. 
uh, and at the end, the hero repudiates distributism. Uh, re the, I mean, this version of distributism. Or, I'll take for example his very first novel called The Napoleon of Notting Hill, uh, published in 1904. And by the way, that novel takes place, Chesterton says, 80 years after the present date, that is 1984. And Orwell, George Orwell, who admired Chesterton's uh, as, 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 a, as a radical critic of modernity, Orwell published his own first writings in G.K.'s Weekly. I can't help wondering whether Orwell's 1984 uh, is a kind of uh, providing an alternative to Chesterton's rather benign view, uh, vision of the future. But in any case, it, again, in uh, The Napoleon of Notting Hill, um, we have a medievalist who finds out that his medieval social order turns out to be a tyranny, uh, and uh, he, re he repudiates it. So uh, I, th I think the accusation that Chesterton is a medievalist is preposterous. Uh, he, he, is, he criticizes these ideas, although he does hold up, um, he admires the medieval society as an effort to establish a Christian social order. Uh, he believed that we should do the same thing in our own day, not by returning to that uh, previous effort, but by, again, applying Christian principles uh, to, uh, to, the, to, to the political political and social order of, 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 his, of, his, of his own time.